Hey guys, good morning. It is Wednesday, August 5th. It's about 6.15 a.m. Michael, we woke up at 5.30. Michael's off to work and I got everything ready for him. And now I'm just home. I usually just, um, by the way, this video is going to be about a day in my life. I don't think I mentioned that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm just, it's about, like I said, it's about 6.15, so I'm just sitting here on my couch watching a couple of YouTube videos, watching CNN at the same time. It's probably a waste of energy, huh? Well, electricity. And, and I'm also drinking my coffee, so I usually watch about some, some YouTube videos for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, I just like to watch everybody's videos, so I never really catch up, I guess you can say. Um, but I don't like to miss videos because I feel like... A lot of people watch my videos and I just feel rude if I don't watch their videos so yeah <laughs> plus I enjoy them so it's okay anyways so um yeah this is what I'm doing right now I'll go and get some breakfast later clean up a little bit and then get ready for my day so I hope you guys stick around and continue watching I'm back hey guys so it is now almost 8 o'clock and I've literally been sitting here for almost two hours just watching YouTube videos. Well, I was up and about for like 20 minutes, but besides that, I've been sitting here watching YouTube videos. I think I have a problem, but it is breakfast time. Um, yes, I eat on my couch, and I eat while I watch TV and YouTube. I know it's probably not very healthy, but it's what I do. Um, so I have some mandarins and some strawberries, and then I have a quesadilla right here, and it has... Just cheese and some bell peppers and as you can tell it's very very toasted because I overcooked it in the oven. Let's clean up. I haven't showered yet, but I'm about to jump in the shower. But before I did that, I actually wanted to show you guys the kind of psycho that I am. When I do my makeup, I always organize my makeup by what I'm gonna wear first and how I, I guess like the order of, my, of how I apply my makeup. And I wanted to show you guys the psycho that I am. So let me turn you guys around. 
Okay, so this is the makeup I'm wearing today, and it kind of looks like a lot, but I don't know why it doesn't, it's not a lot, but it looks like it's a lot. I have my chapstick, my primer, my, my eyeshadow base, my eyebrows, my eyeshadow, a BB cream that I only use a tiny bit of that um, because it's hot and I don't need all that. Um, what is this called? Concealer. Um, my powder because I get really, really greasy. I have some bronzer right here. Um, my blush. I have my mascara, my eyeliner, and my liquid eyeliner, and then my lip color right here. Um, and then my e.l.f. mist. So yeah, this is how I apply it. And as I'm applying it, I'm putting it away. I'm just weird like that. I don't know why I do it. Hey guys, I'm all ready. I want to show you guys my outfit of the day. So this is what I'm wearing today. It's just a black and white tank top dress. This is from Cotton On. Um, I think I bought this like maybe like a year ago and it was probably like $10. Cotton On is very inexpensive and yes, it's super wrinkled, but I don't care. So yeah, hopefully nobody says anything about it. And then I have a jean jacket and I bought this at Target. And then my sandals are these. I bought these at Payless a very, very long time ago, and yes, that's my, my knee. So yeah, so this is it, and then um, I'm all ready, so we're going to go, and we're going to withdraw some cash, go take my car to a car wash, and I'm um, thinking of going to Target. We have a birthday party this Sunday, and then we have a wedding next Sunday to go to, and I just want to buy them a little gift. I want to show you guys my eyeliner. Um, I hardly ever do my eyeliner because I feel like I don't know how to do it and I've been practicing. So I want you guys to tell me what you guys think. Wait, right here. What do you guys think? I'm talking about my liquid eyeliner, by the way. Yay? Nay? I feel like I'm, I'm practicing, you know, it's getting a little bit better. Before it was horrible, but it's getting a little better, so that's a good thing, right? Hey guys, so I'm driving now. Um, and seriously, the struggle is real. I have my camera on my cup holder so you guys can see me uh, because I don't have a, a camera stand in my car. So this is what we have to do for now. I hope you guys don't mind seeing me from this angle. <laughs> you guys can see my double chin. It's not very attractive. Anyways, um, it is so hot outside, so I took off my jacket and my dress looks so much more wrinkled with my jacket off, which totally sucks because it's so hot. Um, so I, I have to put on my jacket before when I um, when I get out. But I have leather seats, so if you guys know leather seats and skin, do not do not like go together. They are not friends at all because it hurts every time you get up. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something. So the wedding we're going to next um, next weekend, it is, he's not my cousin, but we were not, I, want, I don't want to say raised together, but we lived in the same house for many, many years. So growing up, he was more than just, you know, somebody that lived there. He was more like a older brother, I guess you can say, or really like good, good friend. Um, anyway, so he's getting married next weekend. You know, we don't really talk much anymore. I don't really know the girl. I know her name and I know where she lives, but that's pretty much it. You know, I don't really know much about her. So anyways, they're getting married next weekend and they went to our wedding and you know they were invited along with their whole family everybody was invited and you know I am the kind of person that even if you just invite me to a barbecue a simple barbecue in your house I will ask you what do you ask person that will say you know what do you want me to bring you know what do I bring how can I help um and if it's an event like a wedding or a birthday party or any kind of event where you don't have to but you should bring something I always bring something I always bring a gift like always it's just you know I just always bring a gift even if it's a tiny tiny gift even if it's nothing you know um, big or anything like that I just always bring a gift because I feel like not only do people you know waste a lot of money in events and in parties but it's just you know it's just 
courteous, I guess you can say, to bring something to an event. So anyways, they came to our wedding and they didn't bring me any, they didn't bring us anything, they didn't buy us anything, and that's fine, you know, I understand, you know, if you can't buy us anything, that's okay, you know, you don't have to, but even just a simple card would have been more than enough, a simple card saying, hey, you know, um, we're so excited for you, so happy at your new beginning, or whatever, but nothing, nothing, so, and then they also didn't even, like, talk to us during the wedding. You know, we were super busy and they showed up late. At the beginning during dinner time, we did go around all of the tables and we like greeted everybody and everything. They didn't show up until really late, maybe like nine o'clock, because we were already done cutting our cake and everything when they showed up. So probably like around nine. Um, and they didn't even like come and like give us a hug or, you know, say congratulations, nothing nothing whatsoever and I'm sorry I'm just ranting right now but it like makes me so upset so upset that they didn't do that you know um like I said you know I know times are tough you know sometimes and I know that you can't always buy a present for somebody and you know if you can't then you know who am I to say you have to buy me something no but even just a simple card or just going up to me and saying congratulations you know that would have been more than enough, more than enough, but they didn't. Um, when this wedding came up, I told Michael, I don't even, I honestly, I want to go because it's a wedding and it's two people, you know, joining their life together. And I think weddings are so exciting and there is not a single wedding I've gone to that I have not cried at. Um, so I'm excited to go, but I was, I thought about it and I was like, should we buy them something? And then I said, you know what, Blanca? You need to buy them something because even though they didn't buy you anything or congratulate you or anything, you should do that. You should be the bigger person and just buy them something. And then we have a birthday party this Sunday and it's a little girl. She's turning two. And at first I thought, oh, I'm going to give her all the extra things that I have for kids. But all of those are like eight and over, four and over, five and over. And I'm like, well, she's only turning two. So those wouldn't work for her. So I'm gonna go to Target. I actually kind of want to buy her a bathing suit, like a little bathing suit outfit and like little sandals and a towel. Like I think that would be so cute. But I don't want to spend too much either. So we'll see what I get her. And so I'm very sensitive and I get upset and little things like what they did kind of bother me. And you know, um, I've talked to Michael many, many times about this. And you know, they weren't the only people that didn't give us a gift or say anything to us in our wedding. They weren't the only ones. Um, so I'm not just throwing, at, throwing it at them. But you know, I hate to say this, and I don't think any of my family watches these vlogs or that they ever will, but I wanna say maybe half my family didn't um, didn't get give us anything or even congratulate us. Um, it's kind of sad, you know, um, and when I think about it, it makes me really upset, and sometimes I feel like if it was our fault, you know, and the reason I say that is because Michael and I moved in before we got married, uh, before we were even engaged. He already knew he was going to propose. I obviously didn't, um, and, you know, my parents did not like it you know they were very upset and it was just a really hard time but I knew what I wanted and I knew that I wanted to be with Michael and I knew since before you know we were even together for a month I knew that he was the one and I knew I was gonna marry him um yeah so you know my parents were very unhappy and sometimes I feel like they still hold that against me. You know, they've never brought it up anymore since we got married. But sometimes I always feel like they don't fully accept us or him um, because we got married. We moved in before we got married. Um, and uh, a lot of my family, I feel the same way too. Like, I remember one of my cousins, that guy's sister actually, um, she called me one day at work and she told me, you know, I need to talk to you. You can't do this. You know, you can't move in with Michael. Your mom is very upset. And all I told her was, you know what? I'm doing what's going to make me happy. 
and for a long time I've been doing what's gonna make my parents happy it's time for me to do something for myself and I told her you know I'm sorry that you don't agree with this mm -hmm. um, but I love him and I want to be with him and she all she said oh really it's like that and I you know what was I gonna say you know so then you know that was it and I always felt like she was a little upset and you know I felt like a lot of people were not fully happy with us moving in you know what's funny is his whole family mm -hmm. well at least like his immediate family like his mom his dad his brothers they were so happy for us which is kind of sad you know it's it was it, that's why I think that I'm more closer to his family than I am to my family because they just accepted us and um oops you're zoomed in a lot yeah, they just accepted us, you know, and they didn't judge us or anything. They said, do it, you know, move in. And, you know, it just makes me really sad that my family was against it. And I get it, you know, maybe when I have my own children and they put me through it, through what I put my parents through, I might be like, God, you know, this is what I did to my parents. I can't believe I did this to my parents. Wow, I feel like I look very pretty today. Hey, no, just kidding. Um, yeah, so I might think differently, I don't know, but you know, I did what made me happy and not once have I regretted moving in with Michael. Yeah, it would have been nice to just, you know, had moved in, you know, once we were married. Yeah, that would have been great, but I wouldn't change it, you know? Like it's been that year we were together before being married, it was great. It was really good. We learned a lot about each other. It was just a really sad moment in my life when I moved in with my, it was, it was like a little bit of both worlds. I was really, really happy and excited, but at the same time, I was really sad because, you know, my parents weren't happy and they didn't want me to do that. Um, but yeah, it was just, you know, it was the time in my life. But now, uh, my parents haven't said anything. They haven't like told me, oh, you shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't have done that. You know, they don't say anything at all, but they don't talk to me the same way. Uh, they don't treat me the same way. I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely not the perfect daughter. I probably don't see them or talk to them as much as I should, but you know, sometimes because they don't treat me the same as they did before, that makes me wanna push back a little bit, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna stop with this really sad and sad and emotional story from me. So I'm gonna go into Target now. I'm back guys so um, I went into Target and I think this is the first time this has ever happened to me but I found nothing like nothing that I like nothing that I wanted to buy but I'm really close to a Ross so I think I'm gonna go and check that out hopefully I find something there we'll see um, yeah so I'll see you guys when we get to Ross woohoo Hey guys, I, I was gonna say we're home now, but it's not we, it's just me. <laughs> I am home now, and I found some good stuff at um, Ross. I ended up buying both gifts there. So let me show you guys what I got. The wedding, I picked up these glasses. A total of um, 16 glasses, um, eight small ones and eight big ones, and this was $10.99. I thought that was kind of nice. Oh, I also picked up um, some coffee. We do not buy our coffee at Ross, we buy it at Costco, but we're not planning on going anytime soon and we're almost running out. This was $10.99, which is way more expensive than Costco, but um, yeah, so I had to buy it. We literally only have one cup, one cup left. So since her birthday party is a Minnie Mouse theme, I got her this. I thought it was so cute. It's a huge teapot and it has a bunch of like little teacups in there and just like a little tea party I thought that was ador adorable and this was like ten dollars yeah this was $12.99 so I thought that was kind of cute then I found these cute little pants look how adorable they are oh my god this is from the brand the children's place which is kind of nice it says here original price is $16.95 but I bought them for $7.99, so I thought that was kind of nice. These are jeggings, so I bought them a size bigger um, than what she, mom told me she was. But I thought these were so cute. So it's a little light baby blue with pink hearts all over it. They're super adorable. And look, isn't that cute? Lily Pat's here. Look at her. Look at her. And then to go with that, I bought her this shirt, 
which really I guess it kind of matches I mean they didn't go together they're even the same brand too they're the children's place but they kind of match. I've, I, they didn't go together, but I thought together they looked really cute. So I picked this one up. And originally this this shirt was $14.95. And I picked it up for $4.99. So I thought that was kind of nice. And it's just a cute little shirt, pink shirt with butterflies, little hearts. And it has little ties on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I thought that was really cute. Whew. Anyways, it's super hot. Oh my gosh. I want to see what the temperature is right now because it's freaking hot um it's only like 2 46 michael gets off at 3 um so once he gets off he gets home and he usually gets home like 3 30 3 45 ish and um we have i have a doctor's appointment at 5 for my meme and the doctor wanted to see me one more time so hopefully it's all good um holy crap it's 86 degrees right now can you guys see that look 86 86 freaking degrees are you freaking kidding me god let me turn the fan on because holy moly um was it on no all right so i'm just gonna relax a little bit on my couch and um drink lots of water because it's very hot 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 i'm clammy guys i feel like i need another shower i'm gonna shower later because i need to wash my hair Anyways, how's you guys' day going? I hope your day is going good. How hot is it where you guys are from? I'm like out of breath, man. Woo. I need to work out. Oh, so, so I decided to cancel my membership at the gym. Michael and I went to cancel it on Sunday. Um, and I had my membership from 24 Hour Fitness for like, years i went to cancel it because i hardly ever went i was paying like 35 dollars a month and i hardly ever went i probably went like two or three times a month and i just didn't think it was worth it so then my mother-in-law we were talking and i was telling her you know that i was planning on canceling and this and that and she started telling me that her gym which is a lot closer um they only charge her ten dollars a month the only thing is that she cannot go to like all their chain gyms or other gyms like she can only go to that specific gym and she can't do any classes like she can only go and do like the machines or like the treadmill and stuff like that um which i mean i love going to the classes the classes are so much fun but if i can't go but pay ten dollars a month and still have a full gym i'd rather do that and it's way closer so i really wouldn't have an excuse to not go i feel like my eyebrows look like what do you guys think? I'm wearing the Tarte bronzer today, by the way. What do you guys think of it? Anyways, I'm getting off subject like always. Um, yeah. I feel like I've been talking a lot today, so I'm going to stop because then this video is going to be like 30 minutes long. <laughs> hey guys, so Michael's home now, so you guys aren't in the cup holder anymore. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We are on the way to the, my doctor's appointment for my knee because well, you guys all know the story. So we're gonna go to my doctor's appointment. Hopefully she um, says it's good. I think it's healing up really good. Um, and then we're gonna go grab something to eat and then we're probably just gonna head home. But Michael actually wants to tell you the story of how it had actually happened, so. <laughs> do you really want me to say it to them? You know, you can do whatever you want. Um, say hi, look at, uh, look why at do the camera, I... they're not Hello. Cute. They don't need to see me. Yes, they do. No. What, what are they looking at? You're looking at the bird poop on your car. Look well, at don't that right have there. them look at the bird poop. <laughs> You're such a jerk. I didn't wash your car. I was going to take it to the car wash today, and then I was talking to them, and I totally passed it. I was like, crap. So then I ended up just going to Target, and then I was going to go back, but then I said, ah, we can do another week. So a recap right. of your story, what, you just ran over the train tracks, so you fell? Right? Okay. I told them the actual story. Oh, the actual. actual oh, story. oh, okay. The actual story. Yeah. She's a girl that's always like, let's go do this. Let's go do that. Let's go do this. Let's go play tennis. Let's go do this. We go and do it. She always falls or gets hurt or uh -uh. twists her ankle or whatever. Every single time. Oh, what? What? Say it. Nothing. Say it. Nothing. Say it. Nothing. Exactly. You know I'm right. So. We're uh, we're going over these train tracks. You probably know most of the story. We're in San Pedro. It's like a what five mile bike ride, six six mile bike ride. 
and um, that's five, six miles one way and six miles back, I guess. And um, you know, when you go across train tracks, you know, you're supposed to tee, tee the section like this. So like if the train tracks are like this, you're supposed to come across at an angle, I, I guess perpendicular to them, not parallel, um, because it's easier for your bike tire to actually go over them. And she decides to go parallel with them while slowly inching over to the uh, railroad. She eats it like, like it was like a brick hitting a wall, man. There was no roll or anything. It was just like from going at a, I don't know. It, it was I'm bad. I'm sorry that, that I don't know how to fall, how to properly fall. I grew up. You know, with three You're brothers, with three brothers, and I played sports, and I wrestled, and I threw my little brothers around. I got to throw them around with my dad, and Listen. you know, eventually you pick up the ability to tuck and roll. Listen. I guess it's natural. Listen. Listen, Linda, you are a boy. Linda, listen. You are a boy. Uh -huh. I grew up by myself until I was 10 years old. Uh -huh. I didn't have any brothers until I was like eight years old because that's the first time I met them, okay? Uh -huh. So. Excuses are like bee holes. They okay. all, everybody has them and they stink. And all my friends were always like mostly girls. So yeah, well. we didn't fall. We like had roller skates and well you're gonna have a real nice scar and elbow pads and i don't think i have a single scar from my childhood besides the one when i was ironing my shirts and i got burned with the iron besides that one anyways she decided to take a tumble <laughs> it was horrible like there was she put planted her arm down into the into the into the asphalt and when she hit like I can just I can tell that all the force impact went straight through her shoulder all the way to her back and then I was like three feet behind her because somebody decided to slow down and fall in front of a train tracks while I was behind her. You were so, not three feet. No. Three feet you would have still been able to move. You were right on me. You were that car that is right on your ass and won't move. You were that car. Uh -huh. You're the car I brake check. Uh -huh. You brake check people? No, I don't. Ah, uh, uh, man. But if I did, you'd be that person. You do not brake check people ever. I don't, but no, I'm, I'm saying you if better I did, not. You, no, you don't. Do, you, you better you. not. You're going to get killed by somebody. <laughs> Anyways, she, uh, she fell, and I was, I guess, right behind her. And in order to not run over her face, I decided to jump off my bike in motion stepping on her arm on accident but realizing i was about to step on her arm i heel i planted my heel in this asphalt and my toes barely touched her i decided to roll over her and uh, throw the bike or kick the bike out of the way so it doesn't like roll on top of her face and i decided oh wow this sucks i roll into the street and there's cars coming you know, uh, there was a car. Well, I don't know how many. And the first thing I said, get off the street, you're gonna die. And then I said, look at your knee. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I can't move my shoulder. Are I you? Can't move I can't head. move. Are you okay? Do you want me to carry you? And mind you, I'm still on like disabled from my accident at work, and I have a horrible back posture, and like I was like half crippled. So I tried to pick her up, and I'm in pain because I rolled, and she didn't ask me how my back was doing until I took her to the side and put her he on the grass. Like, he was show um uh what's his name Leonard from the Big Bang. My legs okay, thanks. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. <laughs> he just said my back's okay. Thanks for asking. <laughs> And yeah, it was a, it was a pretty intense uh, little minute. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, we're going to the doctor's office right now and uh, to make His sure that. Driving so slow. Why am I behind him? I don't know. Oh great! Should have gone the other way. That's a red light, anyways. Can't get much farther. Well, I'm gonna turn soon, anyways. Yeah. All right, guys. So we'll see you guys after when we're gonna grab some dinner. I'll let you guys know the update on my knee. Alrighty. See you guys later. Say bye. Bye. What? Working together in jolly cooperation. I don't know what that means. You better not record that stupid. I am recording right now, actually. If I say a bunch of curse words, you probably can't record it, huh? Yes, I can. You can probably record it, but not post it. Yes, I can. Can no. Can see. Yeah, well. Can see.
Exactly. Ew, Ew what are you doing? Uh, don't show your ballers my butt cheeks. You have pants on. You want to take them off? Huh? You want me to take them off? Yeah, take them off. Let's record your butt cheeks. Put down and then uh, do some sexy music so I can dance. Take them off. Okay, do it. I need music. Oh, you want. Hello. <laughs> Bow chicka wow wow. No, that's, not sexy. that's not sexy. That's not sexy. What do you want? I want somebody else to sing, not you. Oh. Do you want me to hurt your back? If I, you know that messes up your income too, right? Let me go. Hey guys, so we are back from the doctor's office, and after the doctor's office, we went and grabbed some L and L. Um, and we just got back home just a couple of minutes ago. <sighs> so my knee. Uh, the infection is gone, so that's good. But there's still a lot of, um, <clears throat> what did she say? Raw, raw, what? Meat. Raw meat. Basically, and it's pink. Yeah, un unhealed uh, cut and scrapes. Yeah, so she put this like, um, like clear bandy, I guess, over my cut. And she wants me to keep it on for as long as I can. I can shower with it and whatnot. Um, so I need to put that on. Well, I already have it on, but I need to keep it on. And pretty much prevent anything from going in there. So that's what's happening now. And she wants me to go back in a week. So we'll see where what happens. Anyways, I think I'm ending this vlog here for the day. Um, I'm just going to take a shower, wash my face, um, probably prep some lunch for Michael tomorrow, and I'm pretty much done for the day. It's only about 6.48, but um, yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this day, this day vlog, this a day in my life vlog. I hope you guys like it. If you guys want to see more of these, please let me know. And I know this one's probably going to be super long and I'll definitely try to make any future ones a little bit shorter. So I do apologize for that. My hand is getting tired. Let me sit you guys down. Ah, better. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to upload a little bit more. So I'm trying to give that, that page some love. Um, anyways, um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.